Hello everyone. Welcome to the E classroom. Today the topic of discussion is the tenses and specifically past and future tense because you have learned about the present tense in our previous lecture. Before commencing on the past tense, let me tell you what does a tense mean. Students, tense is the form of a verb which shows time and state of action. It means that verb, verb because verb is an action word and when this action word shows the time of action also, then it becomes tense. Now, as you know that there are three types of times, that is present time, past time and future time. So, the word corresponding to these times become the tense. For example, the verb which refers to present time will be called present tense and the verb referring to the past time is called the past tense. But you should know that there are only two verb forms corresponding to the time that is present tense and past tense. The third form of the verb is called past participle. For example, let us take the example of the verb do, do, did, done. So this done word, it is called the past participle. It is not the future tense. So in English language and English grammar, to denote the future time, certain expressions have been framed by the grammarians which are collectively called future tense. Besides these formulations, the models like will and shall are also used to represent the future tense. So let us learn about the past tense. The verb or the form of verb which refer to the past time is called the past tense. To show the past tense, a time adverbial may be used to specify a particular time one is referring to. Let me give you an example of the right verb. When we say, I write a letter, it becomes present tense. And if you use the second form of verb, which is called past tense, I wrote a letter, it will be called the past tense. We will make the use of the modal auxiliary. Will I will write a letter. It denotes the future tense. Now the past tense also has four forms depending upon the state of action as we had used in the present tense also. And these four forms are simple past tense, past continuous tense, past perfect and past perfect continuous tense. How do we denote the simple past tense? Simple past tense is denoted by the second form of the verb and it is used to express an event which happened at a particular time in the past. In the affirmative sentences, we use second form of the verb and if we have to convert it into negative form, then we make use of did and not. And with it, we use first form of the verb. And in interrogative sentences, did uh, becomes at the beginning of the sentence. And in this sentence also, we make use of the first form of the verb. Let me give you an example. The child slept well. Its negative will be the child did not sleep well. And the interrogative form will be did the child sleep well. Now what are the uses of the past tense? Where do we use it? First use is past, the simple past tense is used to indicate action completed in the past. For example, I did my BA in 2019. They gave me medication to help me relax. Second use is to indicate a situation which existed in the past over a period of time. For example, 
throughout his life he suffered from paralysis the word suffer is the second form of the verb second example is he lived in paris during his last years the third use of simple past tense is to indicate habits or activities that took place regularly or repeatedly in the past but these activities are no longer in existence and adverbs like usually frequently often generally seldom rarely are used in such type of sentences for example he seldom smoked publicly my grandfather always carried an umbrella both these sentences show the habit of past next use is with the adverbs of time like yesterday last night last week last month or last year and it denotes the past time for example maya came to my house yesterday another example is i received this letter a week ago she left school last year next sub part of past tense is past continuous tense and it is used to denote an action which continued in the past for some time for example her tooth was aching it was getting darker in affirmative form as you have seen we use was or if we have plural noun then we use were and with it we use first form of the verb and ing to make it negative we use was or were plus not plus first form of the verb i and ing and to make interrogative was and were comes before the subject of the sentence the uses of past continuous tense are it is used with adverbs like continually constantly forever for example shalu was continually complaining of headache he was always grumbling next use is to express two actions happening simultaneously and with in such type of sentences we make use of conjunction while for example my mother was cooking while my father was reading a newspaper both these activities are going on side by side maya was singing whereas geeta was dancing next use of past continuous tense is to express continuity of an action when some other action happens in middle of it which is expressed by simple past tense here we denote two activities one is going on and in the middle of it some other activity happens the example is when i entered the room my mother was having tea when i saw him he was playing chess now you have to note that when two successive actions that is one action happens after another and these actions happen in the past then we use simple past tense in both the clauses for example as the teacher entered the classroom the student stopped talking third part of past tense is past perfect tense it describes an action completed before a certain moment in the past example is i had completed my homework by 8 pm and to make past perfect tense we make use of the helping verb had plus third form of the verb for affirmative sentences in negative we insert not between had and third form of the verb and in interrogative or question forms had comes before the subject of the 
sentence. Its uses are if two actions of past are described in a sentence, then past perfect is used for that action which happened earlier and for the other action which happened after that is we use past indefinite tense or the simple past tense. For example, the bell had already rung before I reached the college. The train had left before I reached the station. Next use is to express impossible condition in the conditional sentences. For example, if you had worked hard, you would have passed. In this sentence, the condition is beyond fulfillment. We cannot fulfill the condition because the time has lapsed. And the past perfect tense is also used to express unfulfilled desires. For example, I wish I had won the lottery. I would rather you had gone there. If only he had helped me. Next is past perfect continuous. It is used to denote action which began in the past at certain time and was still continuing at a certain point of time in the past. For example, it had been raining since morning. When I reached home, my mother had been cooking for two hours. So here you see its forms in the affirmative are had plus been plus first form of the verb and ing. To make its negative, we use had plus not plus been plus first form and ing. Example, it had not been raining since morning. And to make its interrogative, we will say, had it been raining since morning. So, had will come before the subject of the verb. Another example of past perfect continuous is, when Mr. Mukherjee came to the school in 1995, Mr. Anand had been already teaching there for five years. So, this is is all about the past tense. Now let us move to the understanding of the future. How to denote the future time? As I have told you that the third form of the verb in English grammar denotes the past participle and it does not denote the future time. So here we have some forms of the sentences and some formulations uh, which are used to denote future time and these collectively are called the future tense. For example, the use of models will or shall. Simple present tense is also used to denote future. Simple future tense uh, with the help of will and shall, going to, etc. The future tense has also been divided into four categories that is simple future tense, future continuous, future perfect and future perfect continuous. Let us understand these one by one. The simple future tense, it is used to express an action which is believed to take place sometime in future and we form simple future tense with the help of the modal auxiliaries will or shall. In the affirmative sentences, we use will or shall plus first form of the verb. For example, it will rain today and its negative will be form it will not rain today and interrogative will be formed like will it rain today. We have to use simple future tense. Simple future tense is used to talk about natural or inevitable happenings or habitual actions of future. For example, I shall be 50 next month. Birds will 
nests in summer it will be diwali in a week future tense simple form is again used to express opinions or suggestions about future For example i think it will rain today it is our opinion i am sure helen will get a first class this is again an opinion it is used in the conditional tenses also For example simple present tense in is used in the conditional clause and the simple future tense is used in the main clause in the conditional clause that is with if we do not use will or shall or the simple future tense for example if you work hard you will pass so you see here in the if clause we have made use of simple present tense and in the main clause we have used simple future tense next use is to show our instant decision to do something at the time of speaking example it is raining i will take an umbrella so it is the instant decision of the speaker mr sina is very busy at the moment then all right i'll wait this is the instant decision there are a few other ways to express the future time we use be going to plus first form of the verb to express the future time and it is used to state speaker's intention or some certainty that something will happen fairly soon for example i am going to buy a new car this year so this expression shows the intention of the speaker that he is certain to buy a car he intends to buy a car i am going to resign the job so it shows the intention of the speaker we also use the going to form to talk about what seems likely or certain when there is something in the present which tells us about the future for example it is going to rain look at the clouds the clouds here makes the speaker certain about the coming event of rain next the going to form is also used to express an action which is on the point of happening let us see let us get into the rain it is going to leave next form is be about to and be about to with it we use first form of the verb to express the immediate future for example let us move faster the train is about to leave simple present tense is also used to express the scheduled events or official programs for example that last train for delhi leaves at 11 pm here we have used the first form of the verb that is simple present tense and it shows a scheduled event a scheduled program that has been decided officially that train will leave at 11 pm the last train the prime minister is to visit america next month this is the another form of expression to show the future tense here we have used be plus to plus base the prime minister is to visit america next month present continuous tense is also used for the future and it is used for form personal plans when we have planned something personally i am leaving for delhi tomorrow so here we have used present continuous tense for our future plans we are eating out tonight 
so this shows the planning of the poor speaker next is future continuous tense it is used to talk about actions which will be in progress as at a time in future for example this time tomorrow i will be appearing for exam i suppose it will be raining when we start it is also used to express the actions which are going to happen in future but which have been already planned for example he will be meeting us next week the postman will be coming soon i'll be staying here till sunday and here you have seen the affirmative sentences in which we have used will or shall plus be plus first form and ing and if we make their negative then it will be he will not be meeting us next week and its interrogative will be will he be meeting us next week next form of the tense is future perfect tense it is used to express the completion of an action in future for example by the time we reach chandigarh the concern will have finished i shall have written my exercise by then by the end of this month i will have worked here for 5 years so these are the affirmative forms of future if we convert them into negative then the sentence will be by the time we reach chandigarh the concert will not have finished and its interrogative will be by the time we reach chandigarh will the concert have finished and last is future perfect continuous tense it is used for actions which will be in progress over a period of time that will end in future for example i have been teaching for 25 years next december another example is by next march we shall have been living here for 5 years so to make its negative we will say i will not have been teaching for 25 years next december and the interrogative form will be will i have been teaching for 25 years next december students you should note that this tense is not very common it is not commonly used tense form so with that we come to an end to the discussion upon past and future tense and i hope that you have understood very well all the three types of tenses now here are some practice exercises for you and you have to fill in the blanks with correct form of verbs which are given in bracket so you should think over it you should go through all the rules carefully and then fill up these blanks by the correct form of verbs let me read out these sentences for you first sentence is my grandmother dash me a story daily the verb is tell you have to fill up the correct form of tell here second sentence when i was a child my grandmother dash me a story daily next sentence dash your grandmother dash you a story here again we have tell as a verb you have to give the correct form of the verb tell so students read all the three sentences carefully and you should distinguish where we have to use present tense where the past tense and where the future tense
द टीचर डैश अ स्टोरी इन द क्लास रूम नाउ हेयर अगेन वी हैव दर्क टेल डैश यू डैश मी अ स्टोरी इट इज द क्वेश्चन फॉर्म बिकॉज वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन मार्क इन द एंड एंड द वर्ब हेयर इज टेल एंड यू हैव टू decide which auxiliary will also be used in this sentence next sentence here dash the rain the verb in the bracket is come next sentence it dash now the verb in the brackets is rain next sentence it dash since morning again the verb is rain next sentence is dash it dash tomorrow the verb in the bracket is rain it dash not dash yesterday again the verb is rain so you have to distinguish between all these sentences and to choose carefully and to decide carefully which form of verb will be there you have some adverbs also which will tell you about the time of action next exercise is first sentence mohit dash in delhi since 2010 in the bracket the verb is live next sentence mohit dash in delhi in 2010 the verb in the bracket is live and the third sentence is mohit dash in delhi as he has got a job there bracket me verb hai live next sentence i do not dash people who dash lies we have two verbs here in the first blank you have to give the correct form of like and the in the other part you have to give the correct form of tell next sentence we dash independence in 1947 in the bracket we have verb get maya dash her homework we have to provide correct form of do maya dash her homework for the last 2 hours again the verb do is there next sentence dash you dash your homework in the bracket the verb is complete and in this sentence as you see you have to use the auxiliary verb also when we will reach home father dash the garden in the bracket the verb is mend by the time doctor dash the patient dash the two verbs are arrive and die so you have to do these exercises and submit these assignments to your class teachers and we have taken help of these books of grammar for our presentation with that we come to an end to today's lecture thank you students